Hello there. This is a continuation of this cartoonish rivers chapter of this series, the various types of anomalies on Earth's surface. And that is all part of an overarching project I'm calling the Tooling of Earth, which explores anomalies on Earth's surface and in megaliths and attempts to explain it all, etc. Okay. Today, I have some miscellaneous cartoonish rivers from various locations, and I just wanted to pick ones that uh, are uh, entertaining and good examples, solid examples, uh, juicy examples. Uh, this one to start off with is pretty solid, juicy example, I would say. And uh, so some various sites, and I'll take you through these sites in Google Earth. And to start off, uh, let me breeze through the images real quick. So this one in Russia has uh, this stuff going on. So we will look here and another spot at the same site, uh, possible cartoonish river loop, maybe not, who knows. Um, same site still in Russia, these angular patches, especially right here, we will, uh, we will look at this in Google Earth. And then just down the way in Russia nearby, um, there's this. And in light of the previous site, uh, it might be artificial um, and not conventional or down to earth in explanation. So we will look at this area. Again, just off the bat, it looks like oil rig, uh, or I mean, oil and natural gas activity, or any number of industrial uh, activities. But in light of the previous example, some of this may not be that. So we will look. Alaska, I'm pretty excited about. So stick around for this. Uh, the chunky, patchy, chunked out areas, the various lines and uh, long, very long straight lines in the area like these. We will check out these potential awkward notches and gouges and linear features in the landscape. So uh, the cliff notes on this segment will be that um, pretty much all or most of the Alaskan wilderness appears to be um, touched rather than untouched. So we have artificial intervention uh, doing some kind of surfacing or resurfacing or making over of the whole Alaskan landscape, basically, uh, or at least the places I checked out. So Mozambique, we'll cruise over there and look at some angular features on the riverbanks uh, such as this. So see these angular patches? Uh, I think you do, kind of angular and artificial and awkward. So I'm going to argue that this is the same type of phenomenon we see uh, here in Alaska and also up in Russia on the first example I showed uh, right here, the first site, we have angular patchiness going on. So we have it in Alaska, we have it in uh, Russia, before, like I just showed you, and then apparently in Mozambique, potentially similar deal there. And then also in Mozambique, this uh, windshield wiper sweep thing, uh, artificial tree lines, more of the angular, awkward uh, tree lines and interface between the the rivers and surrounding area. Andaman Islands, we will go over here and look at some potentially angular coastline or river bank line and some awkward features here. Like here, this is looking like a little notch that's a continuation of this curve. And this looks like a little notch that's a continuation of this straight thing. So we'll look over here and see what's going on. And Senegal, some straight patches of, or stretches of river and angular turns and stuff. 
So we will look at Senegal, cartoonish rivers are there. And then the last place we will look is Vietnam. So similar kind of look to the Sundarbans a little bit. Um, we've got this guy, this straight thing, which may or may not be a modern channel. And then also in the area we have uh, these long straight lines, which uh, obviously there's going to be some trails and dirt roads in the area and maybe power lines and pipelines and stuff, but uh, I'm just seeing too much parallel lines and uh, faint linear activity and it's indicative of something larger in my opinion. And then here's an area in that location with um, lots of these parallel lines. So we will look here and try and figure out if it's modern activity or or what's going on. So cartoonish rivers part five I think. Let's dive right in. So to start off uh, this place in Russia. So it's right here in Russia we're going to go look. So let's cruise over there. Uh, Western Russia, I guess we would call it, and it is this general area, uh, this river delta or river mouth, and also, I didn't look at the whole thing, but up into uh, the rest of it, uh, naturally. So place marks on, and the general look of the, uh, the area is somewhat uh, wonky, and uh, artificial and uh, a mixture of natural and art artificial patterns like this kind of meandering thing but no I'll, I'll be mostly straight and like this is mostly straight here and then it meanders and then this is obviously perfectly straight perfectly straight and then these uh, these um, streaks along the coast which I'm going to uh, suggest are not completely natural in this particular case. Uh, so let me uh, let me do a, a time look uh, back in time real quick just to show you that uh, these rivers haven't meandered like at all in uh, the past 20 or 30 years or so. So it's basically 2001 everything looks pretty much the same. So just pick I don't know like right here just pick any area and see no no meandering really. Uh, how about the major one? Doesn't appear to change. So um, let me stick on this image for or this year for a minute, um, just because that's good contrast. So let's look at a few of these place marks and see if we can't figure out what's going on. So here is. A presumably natural riverway, riverlet, or tributary, or um, offshoot, whatever you want to call it. And then it's got this um, curved but angular um, turn here, and another kind of angular but still has a, a curve to it uh, turn here. And then it's pretty much perfectly straight uh, going here. So, are we to believe this is an artificial? modern uh, edit to this natural riverway. It could be, but I mean, what's the purpose? And, uh, and then also I just noticed we kind of see this line right here. See that? It's looking collinear with this. And I'm kind of seeing like faint patchy angular stuff. Um, some of that, some of that maybe like digital artifacts or image uh, stuff, but I'm s I'm getting a kind of uh, patched up angular look to the area. Um, anyways, let me finish out this thing. So we've got this here with this line going like that, and then. Of course, right here we have this straight bit with this angular turn, and then it just what decides to be natural again. Um, so certainly possible that it was a natural 
uh, river system that was heavily, heavily uh, uh, given a facelift in modern years by modern conventional projects. But I, I think the the whole system is just goobery, like like this, nice and curvy, and then these angular little things, like right angle right there, and then a straight bit. Uh, this right here, just kind of useless channels that kind of dead end right here, and then follow it this way. And kind of a almost a, an artificial artificially straight in here it's, uh, potentially certainly that artificially straight so this whole river system to summarize would uh, would qualify as one of those places yet another place that's uh, deliberately in my opinion given a look of uh, somewhere between natural and artificial, or it's uh, it's given features of both, or attributes of both, like this silly thing, and I don't, I don't, uh, I'm just thinking about the the subjective. Um, aspect. I don't think it's to be under uh, underestimated. Uh, I think while instincts can obviously be wrong and humans are notoriously bad at some things and inaccurate, like even this little thing, but uh, yeah, I don't think we should just throw, throw our instincts out the door when we say, when we just collectively look at the, the um, layout of these waterways and we we say huh like if it makes you say huh like there might be a good reason for that so uh okay so these uh channels these parallel channels around the bank here uh it's kind of segmented with i don't know whatever so maybe there's a purpose for these and even these lines here, like, I'm not sure what those are. But all of this has been there since the earliest look we get, which is 2001, I think. And Google Earth a little finicky right now. Um, but when I was looking <laughs> in the cloud, of course. But when I was looking a moment ago, uh, there was no change to this um, patterning. Uh, in the last 20 to 30 years, or however far back we can look, I think maybe only 15. But these channels, modern industrial, maybe, but I think it's just more weirdness, more nonsensical weirdness. And yeah, obviously people nearby, pretty heavily populated. And this is almost looking like the squiggly patterns we've seen in Peru and uh, um, Papua and Scotland a little little bit. Uh, maybe Bolivia is what I meant. But uh, actually, is there a change? There might be a change. So we've... Mm, looks like... Okay. So it looks like these patterns are new. So this this stuff is new. And it, this stuff here is looking like it's been there a while. So go back once again. So these patterns there since 2001, it would appear. <laughs> uh, yeah, like here. So I don't think that changes. I'm trying to see if there's any subtle changes. By the way, this might be a, another long video. Uh, here we see these. Do 
2010. Okay, um, so this could be some of the ongoing terraforming weirdness, or this could just be modern land development for whatever purpose. Uh, I do think this pattern here is potentially strange, or just modern land uh, prepping. Uh, what else do we have? Let me hit all my place marks. So these channels, which initially or um, traditionally I would just assume they're modern activity, but uh, in light of some of this other stuff, I don't know if we can trust that. And I got another place mark way up here, just an angular river bend. Uh, again, I don't. This could be to, to cut the distance from this river river loop, like maybe it was the water was flowing like this and they cut a channel to make it shorter. But then if you look over here, there's it doesn't really go anywhere. So it's not like their destination was, or here it's blocked up as well. So it's not like they made a, a shorter route to their destination. There's, there's no traffic in this area. Um, so I'm saying this is just another arbitrary straight line injected into the mix. Like kind of miscellaneous straight angles here. So it's more of the same. And see some, what, tire tracks? Yeah, maybe, yeah, tire tracks. But these lines even, potentially. Okay, let me see if I got all the place marks I have. This phony river loop, maybe um, right here, it's just this guy looking a little um, oddly crisp. Maybe it's a recent river loop. I mean, who knows? And then I just noticed the uh, this little line at the top here, kind of a notch or something that may be just another arbitrary detail or just a natural tree that happens to be growing there, shrubbery or something, but looking a little clean. Okay, so I know I have more place marks in the area. Awkward Path 2006 photo. Let's check this out. Awkward Path. Sorry, some glitchiness in Google Earth. Maybe this guy. This is kind of like a river path. And it continues across here. See? Am I making that up? Like this kind of goes across the grain of the allegedly natural streaks. But we have this going here and looking like it continues here and something else uh, and then of course I wanted to show you the angular patchy look to the area which is somewhat visible over here like right here especially like these patchy angular uh, uh, little bits of uh, land and vegetation and even here looking like I, w I would tend to usually gravitate towards like it's the exposed bedrock or it's the, the vegetation just naturally growing in the bedrock in the layers of it um, I don't know in some spots it just looks particularly awkward and Here, looking like an awkwardly clean curve with a straight edge here, potentially. So whatever was done was somewhat subtle. 
sometimes. So one could even imagine that they might deliberately vary the amount of subtlety uh, in the imposed pattern, such that uh, such that the pattern created defies explanation or um, uh, yeah, such that it defies um, a coherent uh, history or uh, origin um, uh, explanation. Yeah, this line here. Awkwardly straight for a while, I would say. And potentially more angular patchiness here. It's difficult to say for certain. Okay, and let me hit any other place marks we have and then let's skip ahead to another area. The main thing I just want to communicate in this area is the uh, straight rivers, which um, are, or the rivers which are meander for a while and then they're straight, or even straight ish, like this is kind of straight ish, kind of straight ish for a while. And uh, the angles that the rivers take. So I think this is an artificially managed area. Okay, and then likely up into here, into this area, I don't necessarily want to look at every square inch of it uh, just for time's sake, but likely a, same, a similar story potentially. Okay, anyways, uh, so the next still image I had was an area, uh, <clears throat> an area nearby. Um, so we were just looking here, and now we're going to look here, just south of ways. So it's looking, sorry for the glitchiness, or the lag. So looking certainly uh, artificial with also some natural patterns, like let's follow this guy. Looking pretty natural up to this point where it gets straight again. So it's in that weird zone of could be this, could be that. And that's, I think that's by design. It's, it's, it always, or mm, not always, but the whatever did all this tries to do things that don't met, that create incoherent, uh, that hint at or, uh, bleh. let me try that sentence again. <laughs> Whatever did all this pattern, if it's something weird, like I suspect, it deliberately creates, uh, patterns and paths which suggest contradictory explanations or origins. So that, uh, that uh, suggested origin or the hinted um, implied origin, that's, that's what I mean, implied. So like a straight channel implies a particular type of origin um, or a, a number of uh, potential candidates for most likely uh, explanation. And then also a windy river has a uh, another um, implied origin, which is different than the straight bits. So that has all been jumbled by something which uh, somehow benefited from this jumble, <clears throat> I think. So here we have a potentially straight bit. And I don't know if I need to show you all of this area, just um, communicate the main point that uh, there's, um, there are rivers which uh, look natural 
uh, mostly, but which may be artificial, and that's uh, that's outed by the uh, straight stretches we see. And even these like these channels, which aren't even trying to be natural, uh, those may be by the same hand as well. Just a slightly different stylistic choice or thing here. And again, could be oil activity, modern stuff, exploratory, whatever. Let's just measure one of these real quick just to see how wide one of these channels is. Um, about 53 feet across. Yeah, 50 to 70 feet across for one of these channels. So... And then we have these smaller paths as well, potentially. And no changes uh, in the last, what, well, we only have like 12 years or so of history, but looking roughly the same. Okay, uh, so this is just something to look out for and be aware of. This might be someone's doodling. And then down here, uh, just the same story, the next next little uh, inlet over or uh, river mouth. There's pretty similar deal here. So these, these straight lines which hash up the area or scar it, these could certainly be modern of course, but it might be the same deal as these other two places up here. This one and this one. So these may all be uh, different strokes by the same hand or different locations of the same type of activity. Angular bend there. And I didn't look at this area too closely, so probably just move on just to kind of communicate how um, widespread this type of thing is. So let me go back into these still images and see what the next site was. So let me rewind here a bit. So Russia, Alaska. All right, let's go to Alaska. And I have quite a few place marks in Alaska, whoops, they are yellow, um, I can't remember what I wanted to say when I started that sentence, so I, nothing. So Cliff Notes, it, I just kind of did some random zooms in this general wilderness area and got artificial looking or potentially artificial looking stuff um, pretty ubiquitously. So let's just start over here in the east and keep going. So potentially artificial cliff side. So these kind of chunky angular, this is similar to something else uh, I've seen in Russia. I, sh I put it in uh, my Reddit post, I think. It's kind of a, a chunky ri uh, ribbed, like ribs. Those may well be natural, to be perfectly frank. Uh, let's see, anything else in the area? Potentially clean uh, edges there. I have a lot of um, somewhat solid examples in Alaska, and then a lot of uh, more... Um, uh, edge cases or or not quite as strong and I would consider this one eh, mm. since it could be natural I would say it's not quite as strong however I am just noticing up here the kind of patchy polygonated look to it like you see here this is just out in the middle of nowhere basically and these uh well, they could be growing in mud cracks, like vegetation growing in mud cracks. That could be this. Maybe. Uh, and we 
we're going to see all kinds of straight lines. Maybe this. Let me stick to the place marks for the time being. Okay. So cartoonish river system. So this would be uh, similar to other river systems we've seen with uh, potentially mimicked features and haven't given it too close of a look over, but just potentially that may be the case. Abrupt angular streaks, let's check that out. Maybe, just like this. That could be natural, certainly. Place marks, what else? Very long straight path. So let me get these clouds out of the way. So this is what I'm referring to, this thing. It's a pale thin line here. And they go for very long distances, miles and miles. Uh, where is it? Here. And does it cross the river? Maybe. Seeing if it continues over here. Well, here's a line. I don't know if it's the same one. No, it's not the same one. But this is the general idea. We have these very long lines. Uh, triangle? No, maybe. Uh, yeah, these very long straight paths just going and going and going and going. And let's try and measure it. So about 12 feet, maybe 10 feet wide. And they just, they do change direction sometimes, I think. Maybe. So they just go and go and go. And since they're interrupted by like these little lakes and stuff, I don't think this is a road or a trail necessarily. Uh, there's just way too many of them. I think it's just remnants of the resurfacing project or odd patterns just thrown in there for Shits and giggles. Or just creating features which could potentially be used in the future, maybe. All right, so where else? Very long, perfectly straight line. Take a look at that. So this guy here. Right here. So there's tons of these just everywhere. And here it's looking more like a, ri a ribbon of vegetation rather than a, a gap in the vegetation. So either it's an overgrown old path or it's, uh, well, I don't know what it is. Here's kind of another linear feature, you might say, linear ish, at least for a while. There. Lots of kind of subtle things like here, even like almost this. Here we certainly see a straight line of some kind. So here's that, or multiple very long straight lines. Here we see them crossing and there's, well I said it already, but there's tons of these, these lines. And usually if it's power lines, you can kind of see the uh, the lines occasionally or the shadow or the shadow of the, the towers or the towers at least. And um, 
but I'm not seeing any of those in the area. So let's check out this straight line across potentially this guy right here. What else? Straight tree line, straight ish kind of. And then this straight line here, looking like it continues kind of like that. Just straight lines everywhere. And I know this is the cartoonish rivers episode. I do have some stuff that's kind of associated with rivers, like potentially these little notches. Um, even like this faint like angle here, like if it's very faint, but it's a maybe. But it's, it's these subtle little things which tend to add up. This may be like cracked mud or cracked ground, like the, the shapes you see. Faint one here, what? Faint one. Oh, another very faint line like this. So, um, get rid of that. See, it's tough to see, but it's there. It's this right here. And where it goes, I don't know. You kind of kind of lose it, maybe. Straight line. So I think I got these artificial notches. Yeah, more of these potentially. So it's the same thing, it's over here, whatever that is. It's down here as well. So good chance that's natural. Very long straight line. So another one of these guys. Some kind of something. Um, hmm. Here it continues kind of faintly. There. And very, very long, obviously. Continuing. And the idea, once again, is not to just touch on the, my arbitrary categorizations like cartoonish rivers or whatever. I'm really trying to paint the whole picture here, so. Faint, long, straight line. So that's why we're looking at the surrounding area. Faint, long, straight line. So this is what I'm referring to here. I think this right here. That might even be an animal trail or something. Straight line continues across. So we've got this kind of thing and potentially continuing across over here. So a little awkward, a little strange. Okay, let me uh, move on to other place marks. So I think we touched on all these. Did I get these? I don't know if I got this one. But if I didn't get this already, it's the same idea. And then I may be seeing like parallel stuff here or uh, additional straight lines like this. Hard to make out for sure. Like here, even. I mean, certainly this, obviously. Uh, 
and then over here I think it might be the same one continuing likely so there you have it and down here what do we have oddly regular grooves I would say yeah so these uh, so most of these grooves looking kind of natural like it's got some uh, flow to it but some of these are looking a little awkwardly straight like this one especially perhaps maybe this one maybe this guy this mm. it's not definitive but it's pot potentially something here I'm seeing like faint uh, indentations or grooves this way possibly and the, the whole idea is not every one of my place marks needs to be uh, a slam dunk or a home run um, it's the idea obviously is if we see even a few of these which indicate um, some kind of widespread artificial terraforming then that's that's almost good enough like here I would say it's a little straightish something here possibly this line and this like edges of path or a maneuver maybe okay edge of path yeah I, I marked this down so it's possible I'm just looking for other paths we might see Okay, what else we got? Here's some um, potentially awkwardly linear stuff. And mm, I've, I've seen some linear um, things like this on the coast in California. And I don't know if I'll be able to find it right away. So maybe I'll spare you the five minutes of searching this kind of looking like parallel activity perhaps mm. and I just noticed uh, this okay so there's a, a linear trend here like it's kind of faint and start and stop but uh, like here and then the line continues like this like you see a faint indication of it there and then also this uh, let's see no this is kind of along it so uh, this is kind of along it and you see almost a more abrupt edge of it there so it's like almost like a long through line of featureness I, I'm not even sure it's there, but it could be like along here. Maybe. All right, place marks. What else we have? So quite a few over here. Uh, abrupt parallel cleared streaks. Let's check it out. Where? So I'm saying what? Hmm. These? I'm not sure what I mean. This way, maybe? Hmm. 
potential like angular chunky stuff there. And this area does have the subjective quality of like the, the patchy angular chunked out um, worked over areas. I just, I don't have a super solid example here. Like maybe kind of like here. Mm. Kind of some angular bare spots here almost. A little bit. Okay, uh, let's move on to other place marks. Long line. So the long line is here. And where does it go? Looks like it maybe continues here. Oh, and yeah, kind of here. Seems like it. See that? Something. Hmm. Maybe over here. Kind of lose it. Here, I would say this is kind of angular patchiness here uh, along this tree line. Long line continues. What am I talking about? So. I think I'm saying this long line continues over here, does it? Well, whatever I mean. Faint parallel lines. Some of the, like, I think some of the parallel line stuff could even just be shadows of the trees, like at a particular time of day or something. That's why it looks like there's parallel lines in some cases. This, I have to say, I'm not seeing it. Uh, maybe I mean like this. All right. I am seeing a little angularity here, like there and kind of here. Like something worked over this area, potentially. Linear edge. Eh. Maybe. Okay. Long linear feature. So, what am I saying? So this, I think. So there's something here. See something there as well, maybe. But I'm also seeing a linear feature here, if you see that. This and this, maybe. Here, oh, here we go. I wasn't seeing it. So this linear feature here. It's like that, whatever it is. And continuing like there slightly. <sighs> Nearly straight parallel creases. So these guys potentially. Continuing like this. Mm. How about that? These kind of angular looking, somewhat artificially straight looking grooves, ridges. Yeah. 
Here, I would say we're kind of seeing the angular patchy look on the side of this here, here as well, right there. Uh, even here, like faintly. So this is a decent example of the angular patchy look to it. If you're in full screen and you can see it's a long line, you know, we've got these, that, like what is that? And then just plenty of those like this one right here. Linear path, another linear path. Here's one a linear path here. Not completely linear, but you see the ridge there. That path edge. And it's like it uh, goes like this almost. Might be an old river path, to be honest. Here even, right here, this almost looks like a cartoonish path here. But this is in the still image where I had the um, angular patchy look, like like something, I don't know, worked over the, the land in a patchy angular fashion. So these grooves, maybe like this, somewhat bothersome to me, like these grooves. Mine is natural, like this, possibly. All right. Angular and straight features. So like right here, it's subtle, but it might be something. And this looking like a kind of a straight line here, or straight tree line edge, and kind of angular uh, turns there. Angular patchy look whole area. There we go. That's not a bad example. So this kind of herky jerky uh, angular look to the area. Like see this line here and then these angular patchy patterns. And it's too it's still too natural looking for me to say definitively that I think it's 100% artificial. I would just say it's suggestive of that. But just from a particular zoom level, it looks like very awkward. This area. Hmm. Potentially straight edge here. See that? Well, I mean, this, obviously, this linear bare spot here is looking kind of out of place. There's a chance that that's natural. Uh, it's just kind of abrupt, I guess. Okay, let me see if I got all the place marks here. Patchy angular. So, same deal. 
even, no, those might be trees. <laughs> I was gonna say bumps or mounds, maybe. Just a, like even these kind of angular, Uh, edges and this is not definitive again I would say but it has the same kind of look as like Jordan and Bolivia almost like when we see the the hills hills and mountains um, worked over Oddly straight, maybe this here. This I would say is oddly straight for sure. This right here. Awkwardly straight, there we go. It's a good example of a kind of angular patchiness like this straight edge, these straight edges here. So this is a decent example. See how kind of abrupt that is. Patchy angular more. A little bit. Straight. Yeah, we got that long line. So this guy may have covered this already, but see these kind of edges here, this edge and this edge. So it's something, whether it's a river path or what, uh, it looks like it continues even here. So this might be a pretty solid example of something artificial, which is obviously not a road. Um, Maybe just a ribbon of bedrock that causes different patterns at the surface. Okay, so we're getting the kind of general feel for the potentially angular look of the area. And here, here, what? Parallel linear features. Okay, well, we've got this line of trees, interestingly, and maybe even this, like this. But yeah, I'm seeing like this here, some kind of linear something, and then maybe right here, that's what I meant by parallel. Like these two, this and this. This one looking somewhat straight. So if you, I, I guess the, the test of this would be to just do some like 10 or 20 random zooms and the Alaskan wilderness and scroll around and see if you can see some uh, strange or faint paths or something. So I think I covered these. Yeah, so I may be able to hop over and check out this area. Abrupt angular looking, possibly. So right here, just this kind of angular looking streak. And that may be natural. Some faint potential straight lines, very clean curves, I would say. So subjectively, 
kind of parallel. Subjectively, I might see, say that this is cartoonish. Straightish line here. See, again, we have those kind of uh, islands of straightness, if you will, or um, mostly natural looking patterns, which are uh, kind of doped or uh, um, interlaced with straight features like this, possibly. And we even see like a faint edge of it there, maybe, like the other side of it. And some kind of, no, never mind. Even this may be looking like straight for like from here to here. Possibly. And then we also have stuff that's like reminiscent of those straight patterns, but it's obviously meandering a bit, so that may be natural. Or mimicked natural. Yeah, some, some fairly straight, or clean at least, edges here. Okay, let's uh, continue westward. Or let's check out these. This is just an interesting texture. I can't really say that I see anything particularly artificial here. Uh, it's just an interesting pattern. See the uh, north-south aligned uh, lakes, these little, like that straight edge bothers me a little bit, maybe. These kind of somewhat ov oval, somewhat rectangular lakes, scaly, that's not the right word, but yeah, it does look like scales and that's probably just the cracked earth from the extreme weather conditions. Weird ridges texture. What do I mean? I don't know. Just for consideration. Oh, starting to get boring. I felt it. Yeah, right. It's been boring for a while now. But part of the process, folks. Okay. Over here. Let me hit these place marks. Any tiny lakes with scooped edge. Now, scooped edge, I don't know that I can say... I still think it's possible, actually. So, yeah, I, I would say I do think it's possible that all these lakes are just another stylistic um, component of the terraforming weirdness. And then these rivers here. Yeah. Looking fairly natural. Look at a possible straight path there, maybe, maybe there. Or actually, that's part of a river loop. Okay, well. All these gouged streaks were tooled. Mm, I would like to say so, but then I don't know. Nineteen eighty four. So there's no change in river trajectory since nineteen eighty four, apparently. Here looking like a kind of straight abrupt line. Meh, yeah. What else? Long gouge. I just wanted to hit every single place mark I had in Alaska. 
to uh, give a, a good picture of what may be going on. Here I'm seeing a straight-ish line there, maybe another one here. Yeah, like, yeah, you see this? Like this. You can see it there for sure. And there you see it. And then it looks like it continues like there, whatever it is. This one here seems to continue there. Maybe even a line across if you see that. So some potential odd lines. Long gouge, what is this place mark? Long gouge. You mean this way? Hmm. I don't know what I mean, to be honest. The lighting is not great. Okay. Well, that might be all the Alaska we have for today. Whoops, I think we have one more over here. Fairly straight grooves meeting in right angle. So I think I mean these two grooves, this and this one. Kind of like an angular convergence of these grooves or paths. Mm. A little bit. So I'm just looking around for any angular patchiness. Maybe they're hard to say. Okay. All right, let's uh, bounce out of Alaska. And where did I want to go next? Let's check it out. Mozambique, let's go to Mozambique. So this is that area in Mozambique, and it's a little dark. Yeah, there we go. So let's zoom out and get our position. So it's on the east side of Africa, and we'll look at these and yeah, I think we'll just stick to these up here. So, angular awkward is right here. So, let's uh, get my place marks off so I can get a good look at this. So, I'm saying this is kind of angular here, and we have kind of like a faint linear, like slight continuation of that, and also. I wanted to say continuing across, but I can't, it's not super well defined. Maybe here, a line like that, somewhat strange. Maybe even here, like this. Maybe this edge. Okay, and then what else? Uh, just subjectively cartoonish river, let's see. Uh, just the proportions potentially. Ah, this coloration is not 
working for me. Faint linear path across. Yeah, got that. Edge of bank continues, somewhat angular and awkward. Okay, so this is a little awkward. Continuing here. This edge, that may be natural, or it may be like one of those edges of the, some kind of dredging, which is part of this thing, which we've seen at like near San Francisco Bay and Lake Junin as well in Peru. Okay, what else we got? Here I'm seeing kind of like a linear something this way. Follow me, like this. And it seems to be maybe even a continuation of this or like the former coastline or something. Maybe a line here. So some kind of straight lines it's looking like. And this big wide one perhaps potentially cartoonish river, maybe, maybe, maybe. And what do we got? This is fairly straight line across here. Which may or may not continue right there and right there. Almost looks like it. Like that. Okay. What else do we have? So I think we have some more stuff. Uh, up north a bit. So we were just right here. And what else up here? Abrupt edge. Okay, here we go. So these angular abrupt edges of these streaks, like especially like right there, super linear and awkward, abrupt and these kind of zigzaggy faint uh, indications of some kind of angular activity. Okay. Here maybe like this, this, This is a pretty good, decent example, I would say, of angular stuff. I think there's a better one nearby. Angular abrupt end to streaks, maybe. Almost straight river path across. That's one that could be natural. Cartoonish River, potentially, potentially. Subjectively, it kind of squirrels around like uh, like some of these cartoonish rivers, so it might be. Abrupt tree line. And here we go, there's some angular patchy things right here. Even like faint indications of it pretty much everywhere. Like chuk -chuk -chuk -chuk. Yeah, like the whole area is angular and patched up. Or 
rectangled up kind of. And we see some people doing stuff, so some of this is going to be them, like here. So the abrupt tree line may be seemingly linear across here, like see this? It's kind of through line of linearity here. And continuing here, see that? See like this here, it's it's subtle, but it's seemingly a continuation of this whole linear trend here, not to mention this one right here. Very long straight tree line. And so this I would say is a good example right here with the angular patchiness. It's a pretty good example of the angular patchiness. Yeah. And then zooming out, we can see this uh, area is a little awkward as well. Got some potential like straight lines like that. Got uh, this awkward curve here, nice and perfect. And then this angular curve here, or I mean, tree line. And faint, faint indications of like angular features, I would say, which could be modern activity, but since it's pretty ubiquitous here, I think it's just the, it's just the way the landscape was before modern activity or something other than modern activity. Awkwardly abrupt and st streaks. So yeah, kind of like fingers of cleared portions of trees, possibly. These uh, angular bare spots, maybe there. Oh, this is that uh, windshield wiper sweep looking thing. So it's like, I've got these curved lines here. And then this kind of straight edge and this kind of straight edge and another curve there. So this may be some, just some type of weird pattern. Clear edges of straight path. Let me see here. Oh, I think I mean here. Yeah, so this right here, which kind of continues like this, just a wide path, and maybe it shifts over or something, or a different path, but like this and this. Maybe. This looking pretty linear, kind of a continuation of it. So 
some possible patchy angular stuff here as well. Let's see what else I have in the area. Linear path. I think I mean this. Or maybe this. Not sure what I mean. Skip it. But we do see some angular stuff here, I would say. Like here, kind of haphazard. Like here, maybe. Odd angle, there we go. Here especially. Right there, definitely some kind of odd uh, subjective artificialness to it. In my opinion, And you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing another one of those um, wedge things I just noticed. So where was it? Over here. So this wedgy thing, hide the places. So we've got this kind of outer circle of the arc, perhaps, and then this outer edge and this straight outer edge, and then these, like a windshield wiper sweep. Do you see what I mean? Like windshield wiper. And then up here, we have another one, if I can find it. Yeah, like right here, it's like same type of deal, like curves this way and this way and this way and this way. And then this possible line here. So if you kind of look at it as a whole. Hmm. possible. Maybe a straight line there. Yeah, it's kind of that weird, same weird uh, swipe or arc. Cowabunga! Certainly angular patches there. No denying that. Whether that's modern or not, I don't know. What else? Oh, I meant this linear path. So it's kind of faint, but oh, so okay. So this edge, which kind of continues there, but uh, this edge, if you follow it, maybe continuing here. Maybe there. Eh, maybe. And yet another one of those potential uh, sweep looking things. Kind of an arc and a straight line at the edge. Slightly odd. So maybe just one, one way it mimics the streaks or some kind of naturalness. Okay, so I think that about sums up the area inland a ways. We have, yeah, I would say this river system awkward linear bit, perhaps right there and then right here. Awkward linear bit, maybe. Uh, 
possibly continuing. Okay, and that is, I think that's most, that's the, the general gist of the area. To give you a good idea of what's going on. Here we have some nice bumpiness. Whatever, bro. Right on. Okay, let's go to our next area, which is Andaman Islands. Okay. Let's check it out. So this is in the, um, I don't know, the Philippines or Malaysia maybe, or it's its own thing. Over there somewhere. So the still image was of this and it's, so there's this kind of idea of like the tick mark from an extension of the sweep like this, this little subtle thing. It's like, this continues like that. This continues like that. And uh, maybe even like that subtly. And then also like this, maybe. Straight edge, do we have a straight edge here? Straight-ish, for sure. Okay. Okay. Maybe continuing across, maybe not. Long path continuing from across river. Oh, I think I, like this and faint indication of it there, maybe. I gotta find a better system of like maybe I can draw over these. I tried using the, the polygon tool, but I don't know, it's just like super awkward and it's kind of hard to see. So here's another angular river bend. And see it there, kind of angular, possible linear tick marks here. Let's look, uh, see if it's changed over the years. A little bit, actually, not much. And how about, how about this, like, over here? See, wait, this is angular here. It's changed a bit. So sometimes I think the vegetation maybe recedes to reveal some underlying, like, uh, foundational maneuvers, potentially. Like this looking pretty, pretty sharp. So potential angular artificial stuff there. Straight edge over here. Got that already. Modern channels. Possibly this, so we've got this island here and then another part here and this across. I think something here maybe. But uh, like this one across here doesn't seem as functional. So, and it seems to continue like this. 
maybe natural, but slightly weird. Maybe even continuing there. And I think that is enough of this area for today. All right, and I think the next place was Senegal. Awesome. So this is a big country. I may need help locating this. Oh no, I got it, here we go. <clears throat> so this river system here on the uh, Atlantic coast, I guess. And we've got linear channel here. Well, maybe modern work. Just cutting right through. That might be modern. I don't know. This is kind of angular, slightly, just right here. Looked roughly the same since 2004. So. Angular. Kind of like this. And even like this linear thing here, maybe. This thing looking roughly the same over the years. Okay. Another linear channel here. See this? And possible other similar stuff like faintly there and there. So this guy is kind of, you see, see it faintly underwater here, whatever it is. And kind of lose it, but this almost has a similar angular patchy look to it. Like it's, um, it's not definitive enough to say for sure. But yeah, this angular guy or this linear thing. Hmm. Okay. Okay, and then the patchy polygonal old gridness. You see this for sure. They don't strike me as old farm plots or anything like that. Looking pretty much the same since 2004. So it's one thing it's one thing to say these are fish ponds, but like the ones on land, I don't know. I mean water level does change, but This is more like the patchy terraced hillsides of Peru right here, kind of old grid. And man, I'll have to do a whole episode on it, but like this whole uh, area of Africa from like here to there, like this giant area of Africa, it's, um, it's got uh, the old grid like crazy, basically. Uh, 
what up here maybe yeah more old grid so this I'll have to show you later but just this vast old gridded area and it's pretty nut so and it's extremely vast Yeah, so we will see that later. Angular stuff there. But let's go back to Senegal. So we were just looking at this and any other place marks or Polygonish old grid, so potential evidence of artificial weirdness here, I would say. This is not looking like this island is in use currently. Even stuff like this channel, while it's not straight, it's just like a little goofy to me. And then much more of the polygonated area, the old grid or whatever you want to call it, these holes. Yeah, see all these holes? This is just like arbitrary patterns in my opinion, or yeah, like how big is one of these? 20 feet across, okay, for these holes. So that would be a big hole to dig, 20 foot across hole. So there's those to consider, not to mention the vast occurrence of the old grid phenomenon. And then like here, just randomly, we're just seeing it here too. Uh, more polygonish old grid, natural. And we're working our way over to this stretch of river over here where I had the, the still image. I'm just showing you some of the surrounding area. So this is kind of angular polygonated stuff. It's kind of faint, but you do see it. Maybe the older photos show it better, a little better. Yeah, there you can see it on the edges. And we see it here as well. Oops. So I don't know what that is. So let's go inland a ways. Skip that. Awkwardly straight stretch. So I think I had this in the still image. Yeah. So it's just that kind of natural flow to the river. And then just a little oddly straight in my opinion. And then back to meandering. And some of these straight these stretches are similar like this one and, and right here that's I would say this is not perfectly uniform or perfectly straight here's similar thing going on so it may be natural I mean where's another good example right here dirt and then kind of a, an angle there so just slightly awkward kind of a zigzaggy if you ask me and straight path with angle change of direction that potentially what else many straight lines and angles so like this and these angles here mm.
get a better contrast going. Back maybe there. Here's some kind of patchy look to it. Might just be the coloration. Or even modern work. Okay, let's uh, let's continue on. Cartoonish looking river system. Yeah, just subjectively, it has that kind of wonky look to it. Any other place marks? So like this stretch is a little awkward looking, but it's not perfectly straight, obviously. These patterns are modern, who knows what this is? Could be anything. Pretty widespread, but who knows, digging or mining or something. This could have something to do with that old grid pattern we're seeing. Useful. 2003. Two thousand nine is the earliest good look we get. We have all of this. Not seeming to change since two thousand nine. I mean, there's a good chance that that's modern activity. Okay, and I think that's about it for this, uh, for Senegal for now, vast patchy area. So yeah, I mean the whole country is like patchy looking, and I rather suspect that that's uh, a, um, an aspect of this resurfacing business it's just like every square inch is like a plot of land seemingly just these weird little segmented plots i could be wrong on that though there's a lot of people in the world obviously overgrown old grid whole area this is the neighboring country of whatever and kind of an overgrown old grid pattern, potentially uh, covering a wide area. And one more little thing. So yeah, just this patchiness is slightly strange to me. Like everywhere, like you see how, how much of it there is. Everywhere. Everywhere is a patch of something. Maybe it's a former location of whatever this is. Like whatever they're doing here, that's likely.
Okay, kind of uh, getting off topic here. Okay, so what was my next one? Let's check. Andaman Islands, we got Seneca, we got Vietnam, I think is the last place I want to look today. So we will wrap this up after Vietnam. Google Earth. Oh, crap. Oh, cry, cruddy. Straight groove. So here we are in this Vietnam river system, right here, and I guess uh, southern Vietnam. And what do we got in the general area? We have this grid pattern, which may or may not be modern. Um, like this stuff. Okay, and here's some of it here. Let's let's see the water level change. Then six underwater, and it's I think the water levels receding to reveal some of this. Uh, I guess it ebbs and flows. Yeah, depending on the season, this this portion of coast may or may not be underwater. Looks like. Okay, worth noting. The old grid is a possible component of this, but it's this, uh, this river system here. It's potentially cartoonish in my opinion, specifically this guy. Just awkward subjectively. kind of clean, maybe natural. And also, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but the way like thin little rivers and tributaries kind of sometimes abruptly link up with the, the wider areas. So for some reason I expect like a more, um, like here you see some spread to the way it links up. Like it spreads. Sometimes it's just like a thin line that goes like straight up to the edge. Mm. Mm. Again, that's a maybe. These parallel lines, certainly, I mean, they're there for sure. Uh, is that recent? And like this edge, obviously, could be logging and then replanting of trees in a very mechanical fashion, or just the trees regrow. Since 2002, it's looked roughly the same. So this would be those parallel lines that were in one of the still images. I don't know. Like this line here. Very straight. So let's hit, uh, let's hit some of the place marks I have. Don't think I have too many. Well, decent amount. Okay, parallel tick marks, let's see. So yeah, I had a still image here. These parallel lines like this. It's just like, see it starts off as like a little river mouth thing channel and then it's just perfectly straight. We have a kind of a, a groove of trees kind of Continuing there, kind of like lots of linear faint tick marks, which are uh, pretty pretty visible in this particular photo from this year. Here we even have indications of like parallel something, and possible more parallel stuff going this way. This faint parallel tick marks like 
these. Maybe let's go. Uh, decent view. Yeah, this guy for sure is. That might be a modern something. I couldn't tell you. Maybe even some of the similar a angular stuff we're seeing in like Mozambique. Very faint, I would say. This. Any number of explanations, but. So we got these. What else do we have up here? Oops. Okay. So obviously some herky jerky patterns here. The only question is if they are modern or not. So like these straight things, obviously. And this channel here, striking me as artificial. Even this path around, likely artificial. Just, is it modern or not? Even this here, like looking similar. So let's look at 2008, let's see. So looking pretty much the same in 2008, you see the faint, faint lines across here. Doesn't look like it's really changed. So see these faint lines. These. I don't know what it is. Small circular clearings. That's another thing. Yeah, these uh these clearings. Uh, these cleared bits, looking like little pock marks. Let's see, like this. Maybe logging, maybe natural, uh, any number of things. So we have, here's a good example of some of them. It could just be this, like whatever's making these lines is making these holes as well, whether modern or, or artificial weirdness. Here we certainly see lots of straight channels and parallel things here. Could be this guy's work. Lots of straight paths here, there. Oh, we just went there already. But yeah, these circular things, or could be similar to those pentagonal holes we were seeing in New Jersey, I think, or whatever state it was, South Carolina or something. There is some significant modern activity in the area, so that should be noted. Um, Straight line there, there maybe. And see right here, like faint, subtle, possible parallel lines if you look closely, like just short little ones right there. Maybe a line there. Uh, and yeah, from this zoom, uh, zoom level, some like possible tick marks across here like this, it's, it's possible, I mean, it's subtle. And here you see potential parallel lines there. So it's very subtle stuff in some cases. Here we've got obviously this. I'm gonna go with modern on a lot of this stuff. Uh, awkward river bends, maybe. This, this is a little awkward. Okay. Straight line here for sure. Whatever that is. And maybe another one here. Here. And then of course this guy going across this thing. Looking kind of natural here, right? But if you see here, this is collinear with that. 
and it's like it's one of those sometimes natural sometimes straight ones and then we see parallel components are somewhat parallel like this is whatever somewhat odd and this big long one continuing 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 all the way to this natural bit so they could be cut for navigation or something but they don't uh, I don't know that they go all the way through do they not all of them certainly not like this one yeah this isn't navigation so maybe logging or something seeing faint ones pretty much everywhere like this see that that's a little squiggly can we call this cartoonish lines more lines just kind of tick marks across the landscape here Again, all these holes potentially either modern stuff or just stylistic uh, weirdness. This guy. So many, many paths, paths in the area. Angular stuff. So here we have this line going across here kind of abruptly and then this straight bit, this straight bit as well, an angular dirt straight, and then dirt straight for a while. Then we have this line going across here, kind of weird. All this stuff, like this. straight path yeah so I mean it's that's basically it like okay here's a good example straight river path possibly potentially sets of parallel lines are recent so we saw something like this similar uh, a moment ago Cartoonish River Street Channel. So yeah, these... I'm 50-50 on this. It wouldn't surprise me if it's just like deforestation or logging or something, and it also wouldn't surprise me if it's part of this goofy protocol of strangeness. We've got plenty of like faint grooves and stuff like this. See how this is like along the same path as this river mouth? I don't know what that necessarily means, but it's noteworthy, I would say. This uh, very straight tree line angling into another straight line here. And kind of abrupt there, a little abrupt. So this whole whole landscape is uh, line Z. And that doesn't necessarily mean the whole river system is artificial. Uh, it just might mean that, so we're entertaining it. Circular, slightly strange. Yeah, this is a little weird. The, uh, the circular bend around this thing. It's like a traffic circle almost. Then these uh, lines of trees, obviously this fairly uniform line there, this straight edge right up there, very straight. And these lines don't appear to have changed anytime recently. See, 2002. 2002, it's looking very crisp, I would say. So possibly recent in 2002, possibly. And these streaks along the coast even. 
very straight. And also, here we go. There's some cool examples like this. Like straight little bits of river that just kind of fade out off into the distance. And faint indications of lines there. Like this continuing as like over here. Hmm. Maybe like little parallel streaks there. And kind of sweep or something. Some subjective or uh, faint indications of angularity, perhaps, although that could just be the way the image looks. Here looking like an angular turn to this river. So again, the idea of a river that's fairly natural looking and then up, oh, derp, derp, derp. Okay, natural again. And some down to earth explanations for that that I could think of. Just not sure which ones are true. Certainly, obviously these stripes, these big bare spots. So this may be logging or some type of farming or something. It's it's very very striking. I mean, at first I was going to say this this has to be an image uh, processing thing or like image stitching, but this is more like like see how it doesn't even. It's like a continuous move across the river. They line up perfectly. So, uh, boy. I, didn't, I don't see how I didn't notice this before, but yeah, all these, uh, I guess only once you zoom in past a certain level, you can see it. Uh, also, we're seeing it this way. See indications of it this way? See that? Even like this is um, indicative of that same pattern. A faint squirrely pattern or linear patterns cross like this and they're, they're most visible at like like maybe like this zoom level see it here certainly that's pretty pretty goofy it's it seems just like a little too precise for for like a logging effort or something like that especially the way it uh, transfers across the river without uh, Like it's unfazed by the river, it seems. And even these little bits remaining on the, the land here. So it wouldn't surprise me if this is part of the terraforming business. These big bare lines, large scale wide lines. Some squiggliness there. How about these ponds? or I mean, uh, bounded areas, likely modern, likely artificial. I mean, likely, you know what I mean? Okay. So yeah, we do have all these parallel lines to consider and then whole area marked up with parallel lines. Yeah. I had a still image here. So like this whole, area is marked up with these parallel lines. Okay, let's get a look back in history. 2008, we see them. So here's a decent contrast or uh, coloration. So they're there and they don't appear to change. Really? Yeah, look basically the same as the whole area. So, could be anything, really. We don't, I'm not seeing too much modern activity in the area, but uh, obviously right here on the other side of the river, there's modern stuff. Well, yeah, I think it might just be large scale. We even see like the way it uh, 
interfaces with the coast, like some parallelness there. I could not tell you what this is. Well, I mean, I've been trying. I just say, I'm just saying I can't say definitively or even particularly confidently what we're looking at. I'd say I'm like 70% leaning towards artificial weirdness and 30% leaning towards modern conventional work. It's just the scale of it and like the regularity, the perfectness of it, like super perfect even across these strips of trees, like this strip of trees does not um, waver in the face of this obstacle. It just kind of starts and stops, but it does so kind of perfectly without changing course. So let me see if I got all the place marks I have. Just uh, yeah, more parallel lines, angular stuff. Got that one. Awkward river bends. A little awkward. Angular. I think I got everything I need to get here. So. I guess leave in the comments what you think. If you thought anything was particularly compelling, maybe with a timestamp in your comments so people can uh, quickly find what you're talking about. Um, and just looking for anything else that catches my eye. Straight lines, straight lines everywhere. Angles, and then these, these big parallel ones were kind of surprising to me. Where'd they go? Over here? Where were they? Over here, maybe? Yeah, like this big daddy. Just cruising right across the landscape. Oh man, where'd they go? But yeah, those big fat wide ones, wherever they were, those are pretty cool. All right, I think uh, that's it for this video. And if you would like more video, just check back to my channel in a few days and I will have more video for you. So then, that's pretty cool. I will see you next time. See ya next time.